We're going back to a bit of an old classic today. This is a really simple recipe. It's quick, it's cheap, it's easy. And this one's creamy garlic pasta. Some of you may recognize it, some of you may not. And this was an idea from one of you guys to redo some of the old videos. So I thought, what a great idea to do. If you want me to make something that you wanna see, do let me know in the comments. As for the prep, we need seven cloves of garlic. Run these along a microplane to create a paste. You can also thinly slice and roughly chop. It's up to you how you want to do it, but you will get the most flavor out of grated. Next, we need five grams or 0.2 ounces of flat leaf parsley. Roughly chop it, make sure there's no large leaves or stems and it doesn't have to be too fine, so don't worry about that. We also need five grams or 0.2 ounces of basil. Thinly slice this or chiffonade, just roll it up a little bit, it makes it a little bit easier to do. And if you don't wanna cut it, I know some people think that's a little bit controversial, you can just tear it with your hands. As for the rest of the ingredients, we need some cream, white wine. Don't worry if you can't consume alcohol, you can use vegetable or chicken stock as a replacement. A little bit of butter, some shell pasta, or any sort of pasta of your choice, baby spinach, extra virgin olive oil, as well as salt and pepper, and of course water to cook the pasta in. Let's get straight into it. The first thing we are going to do is place a pot of water onto our stove top over a high heat, generously season it with salt. Don't make it ocean water, it doesn't need to be too salty. Bring it to a boil, and then we're going to add in 400 grams or 14 ounces of a pasta of your choice. Like I said in the intro, I'm using shells, and we're going to cook this for one minute less than the packet instructions. In the meantime, place a large pan over a medium high heat. Add in one and a half tablespoons or 30 milliliters of extra virgin olive oil, one tablespoon or 14 grams of unsalted butter, as well as the garlic. This is all cold. We're going to bring it up to temperature together and allow that butter to melt through. And all we need to do is cook this for about two minutes until that garlic starts sizzling. Once achieved, pour in one third of a cup or 80 milliliters of white wine, chicken stock or vegetable stock. This is going to deglaze the pan. It doesn't really need to be deglazed at the moment, but it's going to add a nice sweetness and a lot of depth to the dish. Just continue cooking this for about two to three minutes to reduce it by about one third. Next to go in is 400 milliliters or 13.5 fluid ounces of thickened cream, also known as heavy cream or whipping cream. Season to taste with salt and cracked black pepper. 20 grams. Mix this all together really well. We're going to bring this up to a boil, reduce the heat to low, and allow us to simmer for about six to eight minutes until it's thick. And when you run a spatula through it, you can see the bottom of the pan. In the meantime, we can also remove and drain the pasta. And going back to that sauce, it has been reducing for about eight minutes now. It's nice and thick and can coat the back of a spoon. Or if you put that spatula through it, you can see the bottom of the pan. At this stage, I'm going to add in 120 grams or 4.2 ounces of baby spinach that's been washed and gently fold this through and cook it for about about two minutes only until that spinach is lightly wilted we don't need to cook this all the way right now because it will continue to cook next to go in is the drained pasta if you've reserved any pasta water you can adjust the consistency later on and i'm also adding in about two thirds of the parsley as well as the basil and saving the rest for a garnish at the end Grate in as much pecorino romano or parmigiano reggiano cheese as you like also season it up with a little bit more salt and cracked black pepper 10 cracks worth then mix everything together, cook this for one minute for all of those flavors to become friends and that pasta to continue cooking. And then we can remove this from the stovetop. This recipe will easily get two big portions. You probably could push it to three or four if you wanted a smaller portion. It is quite rich and quite filling as well. Once you have it in the bowl, just garnish it up with some more pecorino or parmigiana, a little bit more basil, a little bit more parsley as well as cracked black pepper. And there we have our beautiful creamy garlic pasta that is so incredibly easy to make. With everything said and done, there is only one thing left to do, and that is, of course, we can then dig in. Shot a little pasta. 